the honorable all the judges, the honorable all the participants, and all the audiences. First of all, let me thank God who has given us mercy and blessings, so on this nice day, we're still in a good and healthy condition. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Putri, and today, I would like to speak about fake news, how the dangers of fake news in society, and I'll share my three tips on how to outsmart fake news in the sophisticated technology. Ladies and gentlemen, lately, Indonesia had a case situation because of the legitimacy of omnibus law by the government that sparked controversy in society. People from different backgrounds such as laborers, college students, activists, and other backgrounds claiming their disapproval to this law that was valued as not considered to Indonesian laborer. Eventually, there was an incident of destructions, burning public facilities and infrastructure in certain areas like Surabaya and Jakarta. But we are not going to talk about the substance of this omnibus law, but how the massive people gather to convey their aspiration and opinion, and still a lot of people there didn't know what really happened, how the real fact and just affected by the exaggerating news in website and social media. And not all these news were correct. So the rapid and persuasive online fake news can be very possible to be harmful, create confusion, even conflict in the society, and detrimental to the country. So what is the fake news itself? It is a news that made up manipulated to resemble credible journalism to attract maximum attention with it. Usually, the hot topic of fake news such as politics, government policies like this omnibus law, religion, and other scams and hoaxes. And sometimes it can be shared by the fake account, or we can say buzzer, whose identity is not clear and they have an ideological motive or economic motive behind to spread the news. So that's why research reveals that fake news can do really travel faster and further than the truth. And that is true. So, how do we start to prevent the hoax news? The first thing you need to remember that news literacy is very important. If you're not sure about the third of the news, don't share, don't like, and don't comment. Once you have decided to look more deeply to the news, it's time to figure out where and when it comes from. Because internet news can work every time, and every time people repost and rewrite something. And there's a change that important details will get lost. Next, I have three tips for you to outsmart fake news and stop sharing news that you don't know the truth yet. First, identify the news by the accuracy, authority, and the purpose. How about the authority? Who is the author? Who is the publisher? Do they have the do they have the authority to do do of the news? How about the accuracy? Is the information supported by evidence? Sometimes, videos, audio recordings, and photos can be edited to mislead you. And the link and website you received is spelling mistakes or full of ads. Look at this sign so you can check the information is accurate or not. And what about the purpose? What is the purpose of this news? To outreach, to call to action, to inform, or to sell. This can give you a clue about bias. So those questions should be coming up to your mind uh, when you face or when you find a strange news. Second, verify the news with the other sources. We may know that it is fake news because it has surprising information or it brings your a it brings your attention and thought. On another word, it has a provocative title to look for views, to uh, to spam site with the headline, to increase the advertised revenue. Therefore, if you encounter news with a provocative title, look more references in similar form or in similar news from official website, then compare the contents whether it is the same or different. Thus, at least you have reached more balanced conclusion. Third, understand when a message is forwarded, especially in communication platforms such as WhatsApp. So, uh, forwarded labels help us to determine 
whether it is your friend write the message or it from someone else. For example, several months ago, I have received forwarded messages that shows uh, online news report there will be a meteor and uh, that shows Islamic prediction and be proven by ulama and so on and so forth. I believe all people also read it and become worried and afraid to just out of home just because most news say the same. So don't forward the message when the sender is urging you to do so. If you see something that's fake, tell the person that sent it to you and ask them to verify first before they share it. Or if a group of if a group or context is constantly sending you a message or a fake news, then report them. So in conclusion, social networking site allows people to share information quickly to other people without confirmation about its truth. The most important thing is to have news literacy and by the identify the news, verify the news with other sources, and pay attention to the forwarded messages. Lastly, I would like to say, if you're not sure about the truth of the news, uh, double check the fact. Think before you share, whether it is true, false, or something in between. And be skeptical of what you read and watch. Thank you for your time, and see you.